Hey, Ronnie. Hey, lady. Hey, what? <laughs> Hello, nice lady. <laughs> hey, Ronnie, yeah. you know I like you, right? Yeah. I gotta block you. I'm sorry. Um, there's just too many posts and uh, it's out of control and so I'm gonna block you. I've tried to whittle it down to like 60 a day. I know, and, and that might be just a few too many for me. Okay. So right. I'm gonna block you. You have a problem with that? Is it wrong to block someone on social media? I got a story I wanna share with you. I think Ronnie does too. And we'll do that next on Men Are So Smart. Hello and welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. Is it wrong to block people on social media? Well, today on the show, we'll explain social media. Whether it's Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, or some other platform, people are spending a good portion of their days scrolling through feeds, posting items, and occasionally finding themselves agitated by something they see online. According to Statista, a provider of market and consumer data headquartered in Germany, the usage of social media worldwide was 135 minutes per day in 2017. Mm -hmm. In spite of occasional calls to boycott one side or another, overall usage appears to be holding steady. Okay, so this is something that we're going to have to address, blocking people, because obviously everyone is on social media. Yeah, one reader that uh, they call Walter considers himself a frequent social media user. He regularly posts to various platforms and responds to posts others have made often disagreeing with the original poster of an item. Apparently, occasionally Walter's disagreements don't sit well with these posters and they block him. Uh -huh. uh, as a result, he can't see any of their posts, nor can he post any response to their sites. <laughs> oh, that's gotta hurt. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Facebook jail. Ooh. Why have a public account on Twitter if you're not going to let people see it, asks Walter. Noting that any user can set his or her site so that only select people can see it online. I just disagree with people's posts sometimes. I don't write anything offensive or inappropriate. Walters wonders if there's something ethically wrong with people being able to block others simply because they don't like their posts. Clearly, he believes it's not right. Yeah, well, it's not. regardless of whether it's right to block, it's not unusual. In one high-profile instance, Pre uh, President Trump blocked author Stephen King oh, yeah. after King posted a suggestive comment to the president. In response, King blocked Trump and indicates he decided to block Vice President Mike Pence while he was at it. Uh, in addition to a bit of fodder, the author 8, J.K. Rowling, offered to step in and direct message all of the president's tweets to King so he could read them if he wanted to. You yeah, know, wow. this all sounds very petty. Yeah. And it kind of sounds high schooly. Yeah. Uh, but to Walter's question about the rightness or wrongness of blocking someone simply because you disagree with someone, unless the site is an official site of a government uh, agency where public information should be available to all, it is perfectly fine to block whoever you want to block. Some question whether the president should be permitted to block anyone from reading tweets from his personal account since he is a public official. Since the president's tweets become public record, I agree that they should be open to all to read. Yeah, Walter's blocker, however, was just a private citizen on Twitter voicing a strong opinion to which Walter disagreed and he felt he needed to tweet so. Uh, if Walter doesn't uh, agree that blocking people is okay, then the right thing for him to do is to refrain from blocking anyone. Okay. Well, and I'll, I'll come right. back, I'll circle back to this, but as he continues on with his daily social media routine, he should recognize that having a strong opinion does not give him the right to take away someone else's right to block him. So that's the thing. When you are start trolling people and you, and hey, it's perfectly okay to disagree with someone. But when you're doing it in such a way that it's offensive, you can expect to get blocked. Okay, understand. Uh, I'm on the side that 
it's your page, you block who you want. That's it. End of story. Yep. Now, I gotta tell you, I have a friend who I've known for almost 40 years, 35 I think to be exact, and whenever he or she uh, is online, their posts are very negative, very derogatory, uh, sometimes profane, and um, in as much as this person would still be considered to be one of my friends, I don't care for that on having that on my page. Are you talking about me? Well, I didn't want to mention any names. <laughs> Maybe we should move on. Uh, no, it's not you. Ryan. I, I love your posts. Your posts are always about animals and I do post a lot of good stuff. stuff. Yeah, so. uh, but this isn't. And so, uh, you know what? I don't want it on my page. Yeah, and that's my prerogative. And so that should be the end of the story. This guy can't bitch because someone doesn't like him. No. Hey, too bad. I mean, it kind of... So here's a here's a really good example. I don't know if you're watching the NBA Finals at all. Kind of. Okay, so the other night... Um, what's the kid's name? Lowry from the Raptors. Chasing a loose ball. Flies out of bounds. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And he gets pushed by pushed back onto the court by one of the Warriors. Uh, well, what appeared to just be a, a fan, I thought. It, it, well, front row. Right. But it appeared to be a fan, but it turns out it's a uh, a, a, major, a minority or, owner of the uh, Warriors. Uh -huh. Instant backlash. Uh, yeah. Causing all sorts of uproar, and social media went crazy. At another game... One of the, I think it was actually uh, the owner's wife, was sitting next to Beyonce oh, yeah. and Jay Z. Right, I saw that picture. She looked past uh, Beyonce to say something to Jay Z, and the look that Beyonce gave was a little bit disparaging, and instantly her beehive, as her fans are called, they flooded this this wife with unbelievable amounts of because she has several million followers they flooded her i think it was an instagram account to the point where she had to close it oh my so yeah that's called that's what you call influencer right there right uh so and you know what ronnie look let's let's talk about this a little bit more to the extent that we uh, okay so in this article they mention snap they men mention insta Twitter, FB, Pinterest, Lindy, they, they mentioned them all. But you notice, and we have this discussion from time to time, YouTube is not mentioned. YouTube. Uh-huh. And, Ronnie, you say that it is social media. It is social media. It's turning into social media. It may not originally have been social media. It was a site where you just went, you looked things, and I don't know how many times I've had a question on my car. I looked it up on YouTube, and right. I, I can suddenly fix my car. Right. It's turning into a little bit of a Facebook type or like an Instagram thing where you post something and then suddenly hundreds of people you don't know are reacting to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and we have, we've dealt with people on our YouTube, this channel right here, who uh, have turned into trolls right. a little bit. We do away with them and we don't just block them. We let them have it first. Yeah, we, and then. we flame them a little bit, and then we block them. <laughs> no, I want you to understand, look. Number one, yes, we do these shows to get views. That's obviously the goal with YouTube. It's a visual platform. So getting views is important. However, if you cross the line with us, like, uh, for instance, maybe the beehive did with this lady. Right, I, right. I think that's crossing the line. But if you, you know, if you're going to say something nasty about like one of our viewers or right. whatever it might be, we're not going to take that. I, I, I'm going to talk to you about it first, and I'm going to see if we can come some kind of resolve. But uh, in as much as it's it's uh, easy to block somebody, I don't like to do it. I really don't. Well, but I, I will. We haven't blocked very many people. No, uh, maybe a one hand, 
five. Yeah, times. By and large, we're going to take the the negative right along with the positive. Yeah, and you know, in a lot of cases, we learn from it. Absolutely. Um, Boy, we had some of the best uh, responses. Some of the critical responses have, have actually made the show better, and I think helped grow the show. I, I think you're right. So, hey, we're we're way open to criticism. Yeah. Um, but the majority of the comments that we get are really positive yeah. nowadays. Yeah. Um, you know, in the beginning, you get a lot of negativity because you're new. It's like a new television show. Um, well, I think that some of the best examples were your sound sucks. Right. <laughs> Why am I watching in 240p? Okay. So there you go. Let's take that <laughs> on. So your sound su sucks. Okay. We learned from that. We got a microphone. We bought a better mic. Okay. Um, the the. Why am I watching in 240p? Right. Eh, we were filming on an old iPhone. Right. Now we have a nice camera. A very nice camera. <laughs> And so, yeah, we've made those adjustments to the show, not to mention the presentation. Right. But um, I, I guess what I'm saying is I don't I don't want to block anyone, but I have the right, as, as does Ronnie, of course, not just me, but we have the right to block whoever we want, and you can't change that. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. You're, uh, you're SOL. All right, that should do it for this episode of Men Are So Smart. We're glad that you watched today. Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you have something you'd like to comment about. Well, and we're also glad that you're not blocked yet. Right. Yet. yet. So, uh, I'll say at this point. Careful, Skippy. We are on social media, uh, predominantly on Facebook. Yeah. And that's at Men Are So Smart. You've probably seen that go across the screen here. Too. Uh, so, follow us there. Do you, do you check in on our Facebook page? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because there's some funny memes. I only put the best, funniest <laughs> memes up there. And, uh, and and our comments are good. And, and you know what? I've stopped putting our videos on Facebook. Um, I want people to go to our YouTube channel. And also, if you haven't already done it, visit our website. It's menaresosmart.com. Uh, we've got plenty of room for you to comment, take a survey. Uh, we have videos there, blogs. Uh, a lot of stuff for you to do. And if you've already visited, thank you. We see the numbers. They are really good. Yeah. Um, and, and we still are in the process of getting some merch. Yeah. That's one of the things we want to... That's one of our goals. We want to get some merch. We want to get an interview with Forrest Fenn. Yeah. Um, we want to reach 100,000 viewers. Yeah. Uh, we'd like to reach 1,000 subscribers, and we need your help. It's the only way to do it. If you enjoy the show... Tell some friends. Yeah. Um, make it available on your social media. There you go. Uh, tell your family, your coworkers about the show. You know, it's a visual vlog, but I know a lot of people just listen to the audio. And I think that's a shame because you don't get to see this. I mean... I didn't I, do my hair for nothing. Come on, man. Like my grandson does. <laughs> All right, we got to get out of here. Why? I don't know. We just do. I'm Luke Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ryan. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next Matter So Smart. Bye, lady. Hey! Ha, ha, ha.